What's up, Chosen Few? Let's go over Leo lessons. Um, and today I'm going to go over sometimes, you know, in law enforcement, people will belly down and they'll hold their waistband or do something like that. So I'm going to go over a basic position where I can keep somebody down and I can stay safe. Okay, so if he, I got him, he's proned out or I, I don't know what he has here. One thing that I do, a lot of people just usually like try to hold somebody down or start going for the head. The first thing I do is go to like a knee on belly technique, but instead of me going, putting my knee all the way across his back, it's just gonna be over his hips, okay? I'm not coming up to his, his spine, uh, chest area, or in his neck. I'm staying low on his hips to keep him down, okay? The other thing is, compared to like a normal knee on belly jiu-jitsu wise where I'm hooked on his hip, I'm bringing this to the ground, so if he starts to spin on me one way or the other, I can back out and go to my weapons, right? Um, get to my radio. But the other thing that I'm doing, especially for beginners, if I can drive, use the, the ball of my feet to drive in to his hip area and keep this posted out, I can keep this 45 degree angle where I'm keeping him down, okay? And now from here, I can push his shoulders down, I can push his head, his head down, his, his arms, whatever I'm doing, but I'm in a dominant position from here, okay? I don't want this and I don't want this because now I lose that knee on belly. I need to make sure that I have the angle that I want driving into his hips to keep his hips down. Because for him to get up, he needs to build a base with his hips or his hands. So I'm taking care of one of them right now. Okay, so knee on belly, keep my foot on the ground, right? And a nice base. And then from here, I can start controlling, at least pushing him down until my partners get there. All right, last subscribe, let's try it out.